So hello again, and this recording will be uh, solving exercise 3, which is sorting uh, 3 integers. So we need to read 3 integers A, B, and C from the keyboard, and then we need to sort these values by successive exchanges. So we need to do some swapping in order to have A is less than B, and B is less or equal than C. So for example, if I have in A 5, in B 4, and in C 3, at the end, okay, 3, at the end, I should have A is equal to 3, B is equal to, let's change this and put it 0, so A is equal to 0, B is equal to 3, and C is equal to 5. So we need to modify, we need to change the value of the variable. So this is uh, uh, an exercise that we have done on just two variables in the first, um, maybe, uh, first chapter, the, the previous chapter, when you have exchanged the value of two variables, X and Y. So let's start. We need three variables, A, B, and C of type integer. And then, okay, we print on the screen, for the user, enter three va uh, integers, and then we have a scanf so in order to scan the value. So three percentage d's, address of a, address of b, address of c, and then we need to work. Let's print on the screen the old value. So let's say uh, before uh, sorting, what are the values? So I will go uh, to the line and use backslash t, backslash t for tabulation. So we'll say a is equal percentage d. I do backslash n and one more time backslash t, b equal percentage d, backslash n, backslash t, and c equal percentage d, and here backslash n. So yeah, I have three percentages. So I have a, then b, then c. I will just uh, run this program just to know to see the output. So let's enter 5, 0, and 4. So we'll have this uh, output. So after before sorting, I have a new line. And then I have a tabulation. The tabulation. So this is the tabulation. And then we have the value of A, then a next line, and then the value of B. So there's a tabulation here too. So it's just nice to see it, to see the, the variables. So, because we didn't use backslash t before in our solution. So, now I need to do the swapping. So, and we know in order to do the swapping, I need to use an auxiliary variable because I cannot swap the values of two variables unless I'm using a third variable. So, again, when we are dealing with those elements, even if it's 3, 4, 5, 6, I would work at first with uh, two variables and then we will work one variable at a time. So, in, by uh, an incremental scheme. So let's first see A and B. So let's first sort A and B. So let's see if A is less than B, do, or do I have to do something? So at the end I have, I should have value of A is less or equal than B. So if A is less than B, what should I do? Should I do something? Probably I would not do something because at the end I should have value of A is less than equal than value of B and less than equal than the value of C. So I will ask my question if A is greater than B. So what I should do is that I need to swap these variables. So I will put ox either A or B. Then I have A equal B and then B it will be equal to auxiliary. So here at the end, I have swapped the value of A and B. So let me uh, use printf at the end of the treatment here and see what happens after the sorting. I will give, so, we'll, so C will remain the same. However, A and B will change. So let's say 5, 0, and 4. So before the sorting, we have A and B 5, 0, and after the sorting, 0, is we have exchanged, we have swapped these values, and then A took the value of B, and then B took the value of the older value of A, and then we have reached this. Let's say that run this example with a value of A less than B. 
0, 6, 5. So it will remain the same because A is less than B. So what should we uh, do then? So we have checked A and B. We have ordered A and B. We have C now. We can either place C. So C, it could be less than A between A and B or it could be greater than C, the greater than B. So for example here, let me run it again. If I have 0, 6, 7, so obviously 7 is greater than 6 and it will remain the same. So this is the case where I have to do nothing. I have two other cases which are uh, uh, where, where I can uh, have, uh, I need to do some swapping. So it's either C is less than A or C is in between A and B. So if C is in between A and B, it means that C should be swapped with B. Otherwise, we, we should do other swapping. So here, A is less than B. Than B. Now. Let's work on C. C. So C, three possibilities. Either C is less than A or C less than B or C greater than B. So in this case, let me use it like this. C or or this one so what should we do if c is greater than b so we have to do nothing because okay well, this is what we want we want that c be to be greater than b so it's granted here what if c is less than a so we need to exchange the value so we need to do two exchanges here to exchange the value so c would receive B and B A receives A and A receives C so it's a bit complicated here however if C in between A and B so uh, I repeat this is wrong but mathematically it's okay we can understand it if C in between it means that just exchange B and C so we will do that and then we will uh, write another uh, more simpler solution for this problem so let's begin so let's say if c is less than a it means that i need to do multiple exchanges i will write it then else if c so c in the else it means c is greater than a so it's either here or here so if c is less than b it means you are in this case we just exchange b and c so we say ox equal b b equal to c and c equal to ox what we rem remains is here here we need to do multiple exchanges so first we will save the value of c in c i should put the value of b and in b i should put the value of a and then in the value of a i should put the old value of auxiliary again this is not so easy to uh, write here i don't know what happened here so it's not easy to write so again i should use an auxiliary variable i have saved so c is not is less than a c is the minimum value so it should uh, get uh, at the end uh, the value of c should be in a so this is the old value of C. This is the minimum value. I will put it later. Look later at the end in A. C, which, which should be, which should contain the maximum value. And we know that B contains the maximum value because we are reaching here. At this stage, we know that uh, A is greater, uh, A is less than B. So B is maximum. So we put B in C. And in B, I put the middle value, which is in A, and then in A, I will put the smallest value. Let's run this program and see if it works. Oh, we have an error. We have capital B here, okay, because C is case sensitive. Let's run 067. 
So I have nothing to do because I will not enter in any of these uh, if and else because it, they are already sorted. Let's take another example where C is less than A. It means that C contains the minimum and B, the, the, B let's say B, not the maximum. So 7, 6, and 0. So first part, we will exchange 6 and 7 and then we will exchange it with 0. So at the end, we'll get 0, 6, 7 because we have executed this part and then we have executed this part. So this is not a simple solution. So uh, let's see how can we uh, do that. So first, uh, if, we, if we don't do, we won't like to do that. As you have seen here, we can write it in the other way. So. Let's say that here we'll keep it since we need to work uh, two variables at a time. However, here I can work on uh, C and B first and then I will work with A without doing the else and F. So, since I am here, this one I, ha I have nothing to do. This one is just I have to exchange B and C. And, lay, and at last, I will work with A, B, and C. So, let me write it. So, we will not do it like that. So, if we have, if C is, if A is less than C, if C is less than A, sorry, what should we do here? So what we will do is that we will exchange A and C. How do we exchange? So OX equal to C, C equal to A, and A equal to OX. So whenever we are in this case, what does it mean? So I will just, so B is the maximum, C is less than A, which is the minimum. I have exchanged just the two minimum. And then I need also to do the exchange of uh, B and C so it will be here so I just use the uh, use the older code and just break the if into two if and else so let us uh, run the program and see what's happening 607 or oh, 7 so 677 okay let me run it again I want to have C and C the minimum, so let's say 670, and yes, we will have it. So, what I have done is that in the older solution, we have here, we had here two exchanges, so maybe it's difficult. So, because we are exchanging C and A and then C and B, so we can use we can break it into two if if it's more under uh, if you can understand it more. If not, you can just um, stick with the uh, older solution. So both solutions are correct. Just it depends which one is more understandable for you. So again, uh, just repeat it. Maybe try make um, try to, to to have multiple examples. Run it on multiple examples and see the output. And most importantly, to understand. The two versions, first version is the one with uh, multiple if and else's and the one that, uh, and, and this one that uses just if and else and because in the first one, in the if C less than A, we had to do two exchanges, one of these exchanges is this one and we are using it one more time, so we have uh, reduced the code and used two if. So the control of the program, so how the prog program works, let me repeat this one because I think this one is more difficult. So first we have uh, uh, ordered A and B. So here we have A is less than B. Here in the case, so we, we are considering C. So if C is less than A, I will exchange A and C. So here we will have, in all cases, if A is less than C, if C is less than A, we will have C, B, A. If C is less than A, I will exchange the C and A. So at the end, I'll have 
A, C, like this, A, B, C, because we have exchanged it. So at the end, so if it is true, at the end, I'll have the, the contrary. It means A less than C. And in the case that C and B are not ordered, I will do the uh, exchanges. So you can either stick with this one or the second one. And again, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to send it to me uh, or comment on the program, on, the, uh, well, on YouTube. And I will try to answer it as soon as possible. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel and to hit the bell icon to receive all the notifications. And thanks for watching.